what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i am back with another destiny video and today i bring you five things destiny 3 needs now i know what you are thinking yes destiny 2 is in a shitty state at the minute why would you care about a third game in the franchise well according to many reports including one from jason schreier who is a renowned great source of early legit info he said how Destiny 3 is already in the works and this was reported back in January. Even way before this, Nolan North spoke about how Bungie has already got ideas in place for Destiny 3. He confirmed this at the Supernova Expo in Australia and this was 10 months ago. So it at least makes sense that Destiny 3, if not already in the works, Bungie do have a certain set of ideas in place for the game. Today I bring you 5 things in my opinion a game needs to succeed so let's get into it. And first up, and this is my opinion but it might get a few people but hurt but it is what it is but from what we've learned from the most recent destiny is we need new leadership on the game which offers more transparency in the direction they plan on taking this new game now don't get me wrong guys bungie at the moment they are more transparent than i ever remember them being but they haven't always been this way we never saw roadmaps of changes coming we never got instant responses to changes we wanted they never really asked us what we wanted in terms of what's happened recently with them keeping nightfall exclusive loot rewards secret until we unlock them in game this is a bungie i can deal with a transparent bungie one that communicates. Well, like I said, it hasn't always been like this. What we are seeing now, in my opinion, is coming out of desperation to save the franchise. They know the game and franchise is in a real bad place. The worst, in my opinion, Destiny has ever been in. I mean, for sure, times within Destiny 1 did get hard. Content did get dry. But in my opinion, never to this state. Also what don't help is the vast array of new titles coming out taking over people's lives, games such as Fortnite, the new daddy of the gaming industry. A lot of people have moved on and happy about it. A lot of people also state they will never return and you can understand this. The wait for changes has been in the opinions of many way too long and even said changes they wanted still have no date fixed to them and other changes have just been completely ignored. And this rubs off on us as a community looking for that spark Destiny once offered, a spark which too many has burned out. Bungie are now realising this, and it's in my opinion because of this and the state of the game, they are being this transparent. With a new game, we need new transparency with what's going on going forward, and we need this from the get-go. We need it before the game's even released. If this means we need new leadership, then so be it. Okay, so next up, what needs to happen with the third game is they need to completely forget about the previous title. Destiny 2 has, like I've just said, been a major letdown from the get-go. Changes are being incorporated to make the game better, but in Bungie creating a third game, they need to literally take nothing from this second game in terms of what it offered. I mean, I tweeted that the other day asking people if there was any single element of Destiny 2 people want to see in Destiny 3, and the response was crazy. Literally 95% of people said not a single thing, and a few others mentioned things so basic, it just goes to show how bad the game has become. Things as basic as the mantle and the fast travel. If these are two of the only things you want to see taken over from a sequel, you know shit has hit the pan. So my suggestion here is for Bungie, if you're going to take notes from a previous game, please make that previous game Destiny 1. This is where it was at. And on this note, we're going to move on to the weapon system. Now the weapon system in Destiny 1, we had not a single problem with. A primary, a secondary and a heavy. This worked for every scenario the game offered, PvE and PvP wise. For some odd reason, Bungie changed the weapon system for the second game and also scrapped one of the major things people loved about the game and one of the major grinds behind it and that was random rolls on weapons. What were they thinking? The weapon system in a looter shooter needs to be on point for sure, so I suggest with the third game they completely scrap the BS which was D2's weapon system and go back and work with the D1 weapon system and what it offered and maybe evolve upon that. Not change its layout, not remove random rolls to make everything simple. We don't want that, we want complexity. We want a weapon system like how D1's was and I'm pretty sure now within Destiny 2, 99% of us would prefer the D1 weapon system of what D2 offers. There's no doubt about it. But what do you think about this? Let me know down below. Okay, so next up, I want there to be a fresh start going into a new game. I don't mind there being three classes as in Warlock, Hunter and Titan, but I want new subclasses, not some reskinned, failed, limited versions of previous subclasses. I mean, Destiny 1, we eventually got a new subclass for each class. Hammers for Titans, Stormcrawler for Warlocks, and Night Stalker for Hunters. For Destiny 2, we got the same three. Okay, a few changes were made to Dawnblade, Dark Strider and Sentinel, but overall, it just wasn't enough. With a new game, we expect new things, also new enemies. Yes, it's fine to see an old enemy races return, but there is so much more to offer within the Destiny universe, it's unbelievable. Law folks know this the best. There's a gigantic opportunity here, met with minimal effort, in my opinion. 
Also factions and vendors, yet again, the same old shit, nothing new here at all. When you think about it, when people said before it's released, Destiny 2 is going to be more like a Destiny 1.5, it's now more clear than ever how correct these people were. And it's a true shame, but with a new game, we expect a fresh start, that is fine. I think we all accepted that, it's a fair point both for us and newcomers to the game. We all start on an equal level. Most people were not bothered about loot being brought over because we like the grind in getting said loot from Destiny 1. The same grind though is not a part of Destiny 2, so now we feel as though we've been truly robbed. The fresh start was for us to basically farm the same shit. Nothing new, all the exotics, couple of decent looking armors, but nothing in my opinion truly new or unique. Having a fresh basis to start with builds better relations with us. Bring all the stuff back at later dates, but let us experience new things first. Destiny 2 is all old, the best exotics were from Destiny 1, all subclasses are basically from Destiny 1, the weapons designs are from Destiny 1, all the factions are from Destiny 1, enemies are all from Destiny 1. Is there anything new which you can think? Yeah well, I like that, let's keep it and work with it. I don't think there is. If there was, the changes being made wouldn't be reverting the game back to D1, it's as simple as that. So having a completely fresh start would be epic, as long as with this fresh start we get fresh content. Okay, and lastly, the engine. Jesus, the game's engine. Destiny 2's game engine is literally so old it's unbelievable. Basically a spin-off version of the game engine used in the Halo games. I mean, come on. I'm going to call asset systems and scalability from the 2016 handmade con right here. Making content for Destiny was a complete nightmare. Any change to a map or weapon could take more than 6 hours to compile, slowing the content pipeline for Destiny to a cruel. This was due to the fact Destiny's engine, a spin-off of the engine for Halo Reach, was built based on two completely boneheaded design pillars. They wanted developers to be able to compile their content on console hardware to have the final look at the game in front of them as they develop. This was a good idea in the age of Halo Combat Evolved since that game did look different when compiled in the PC dev environment and on the OG Xbox because of the different architecture and shaders. It's completely irrelevant now since modern consoles are very similar to PCs and you can basically simulate any differences in hardware in your dev environment. They wanted to cram the requirements of one in an engine that could handle fast compiling for the PS3. Yes, you heard that right. Destiny's engine was, is fucked because it was built to be compatible with the PS3. They did make some improvements to the engine around May of 2016 and were working on further improvements at the time. This means that Destiny 2 is being built using this engine. It's also very unclear how much improvements to the engine will actually help the Destiny 2 content pipeline as they did not, will not change the core principle of the engine or how it works to accommodate 1 and 2. In other words, it's still built on a pile of garbage. And I mean people, this explains so so much. This engine is beyond limited. I mean if rumours are true, it takes up to 8 hours to load maps and weapons to edit. I mean damn, how do they do it? I mean it makes sense that the original engine was built to run games on PS3 and Xbox 360 as these were the consoles that Destiny 1 was released on. This did mean though that future consoles were going to suffer if you remember how held back the Xbox One and PS4 versions of Destiny 1 were because of the old systems, you remember how crazy it was. And to think they built the second game on the same engine boggles my mind. It really just goes to show the BS they tried pulling with us, their community, their customers. This was obviously the cheaper option for them. But as many people expected, it has failed them taking this route, and in my opinion, this is good. Hopefully, they will learn moving forward. So, yeah, guys, Destiny 3 needs 100% to be built on an entire new engine. No excuses, no BS, new engine or nothing. And people, these are five things, in my opinion, Destiny 3 needs. I mean, I could go on and mention things like 60 frames per second on console, etc., etc., but I mean, if this isn't standard procedure, then it's doomed from the start. On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, it really does help me out. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.